12 years old. Were you personally? No. Oh, okay, the ship. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, the shipyard was founded by my great grandfather. Yep. And I think they started installing stabilizing fins in the 70s. 70s, yeah. It was Fosper at the time. And I think yeah. the very first boat had one. Had one stabilizer. It was cheaper yeah. because we're Dutch. <laughs> we don't want to make too, too much money. Yeah. And I recall vividly in the 90s, you guys did something that nobody had ever done. Yeah. You were almost like giving them away and mostly to fetch <laughs> yeah, Because mostly. they were the high profile boats. Actually, yeah. it's funny you say that, but Quantum has installed 112 systems on fetch ships. I'm aware of that. <laughs> you are aware. Yeah, I'm always trying to find a way out, but the crews, <laughs> the crews won't have it any other way. So really, even though the, the in te technology wise the boats have improved, all the companies that build products that want the ships also have to improve with the ship. The sure. Design. Sure. So it's not just sort of the ship it, uh, immerses itself and grows, but also every single thing that goes on the ship contributes to the, the uh, really feeling of the comfort of the ship. Yeah. And, and I think the biggest challenge is with all the comfort we create on the boats, be it the air conditioning, be it the stabilization, everything costs energy. Yeah. And energy is becoming not only at a premium today with this horrible war, but it's also a thing that we should not have a footprint together as an industry. And that's, I think, the wonderful challenge that you and I and pass on to the next generation. We probably will, yeah. yeah. Probably. We might have to because there won't be any fuel left to run on. <laughs> uh, exactly, exactly. But it is, it, that is a great thing. So. Mm -hmm.